going to happen, but uh, we're told from the agency that the uh, city's contracted with to lead the uh, providing of housing to the homeless, that today alone they've already talked 15 people into accepting interim housing. It's an urgent crisis, yet it takes time for outreach workers from the St. Joseph Center in Venice to convince the chronically homeless, many with addiction and mental health issues, to accept housing as a first step in getting help. That's Valicia Adams Kellum's job. Today is housing and supportive services, so food, uh, mental health support. Um, for some people who are ready for detox, we have some detox, be detox beds. It's estimated 200 people now call the boardwalk encampments home, among them 50-year-old Steve Carrillo, who says he's ready to come inside after decades on the streets, says he signed up for help today, but he's still here. It's, it's kind of fun. That, you know, it can be fun during the day we work out here and stuff, um, but then at night there's so many crazy people out here. There's random uh, violence and stealing and everything. And 56-year-old Kenny Nelson, who goes by Knuckles, says to him the mental health treatment is even more important than the housing. The shelter's trying to get us into a, a place. That's cool and all that. But most of the people that they're talking to you have mental problems. LA City Councilman Mike Bonin calls this new push encampment to home. Says yes, housing is prioritized with services and then cleanup without the intervention of law enforcement. Bonin says LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva bringing his own homeless outreach teams here in a highly publicized move continues to be disruptive and counterproductive. Some of the uh, folks there say this new effort on your part is because the sheriff increased the pressure. What do you say to that? Uh, well, I would say that the, the people uh, who are saying this is a result of the sheriff uh, are, uh, are fairly characteristically putting out a, a lot of falsehoods. Uh, the reality is that this program was in the works before the sheriff ever sort of stepped onto Instagram and, and started saying this. Now listen, Christine, no sign of the sheriff's people here today. Councilman Bonin and his supporters quite confident in their long-term approach. This is a six-week program. They've actually broken down the encampments into five zones. Zone one was today, 30 tents, anywhere from one to six people per tent. They're going to spend six weeks doing this. They, they're confident the vast majority will accept housing. If there are still some people left at the end of six weeks, well, Councilman Bonin says he'll deal with them then, but he does not anticipate making arrests. Live in Venice, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. So we know in the past when you've talked to people out on the streets that some of them are really hesitant because they're concerned about the rules, especially the rules concerning drug use. What are the rules that St. Right. Joseph's is offering? What, what, are, what? How does that work? Well, St. Joseph's is really a uh, referral service that they will find you a motel room, they'll find you a hotel room, they'll find you an emergency shelter bed. And depending on what facility you're in, I mean, if you're in a private hotel room, there's not a guard at the door, there's no, there aren't police policemen there. If you're in more of an organized program, there may be rules against drugs, alcohol, there may be a schedule. So it really depends on which specific location you're talking about. But that, that is true. That is the biggest objection to most of the people who are what they call service resistant, as they just don't want to be subject to someone else's uh, rules or restrictions. With IXL,